How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Sun, and welcome back to another episode of the Europa Universalis 4 Absolutist Italy campaign, where we're making our first moves into Northern Italy. I guess, unless you count Sardinia, but I, I think that's considered part of Southern Italy, so whatever. <clears throat> In any case, yeah, we're going to, we're going to uh, take some stuff from the Milanese scum. You know, screw them and their Ambrosian Republic. Screw that. You always got to have a monarchy. It's always better. Obviously. Hmm. I'd really like to eat Genoa as well. I'm going to keep a spy network in their country, like at all times, I think, from now on. But beyond that, and the vassalized Genoa mission is really good. But I don't think we can really go to war with them right now. It depends. I think they're probably going to lose that war against Milan and Switzerland that they declared, which is good for me. Also, real quick, I want to go over here and look. So why are we... What are we missing? Ferrara is... Okay. We could always break our alliance with the Papal State if we choose to do so, you know? So Ferrara, first off, I don't really care to have military access from you anymore. Um, beyond that... Oops, sorry about that. Papal State. I could always make room for, like, a vassal if I want with Mantua, you know? And that could be fun. Oh, Venice also declared... Oh, my God. Milan is just getting dogpiled right now, apparently. Wait, wait, what? Genoa. Oh, Genoa and Venice. Yeah, that's brutal, man. Um, I mean, I think what we're gonna do is probably go over here, say Mantua. Hello. Hello, Mantua. I would like you to become my vessel. That would actually be ridiculous. Let's not do that, because then we wouldn't be able to take the other provinces probably at all. Um, and your rivalry. I want more prestige. Oh, hey, look at that! Because our leader died, we got our prestige up. That's amazing, actually. I really needed that. I would like you to keep keep Florence as your rival. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I didn't get any money for that. I guess I don't have a lot of participation, huh? Hmm, that's a Grasslands Fort, so I don't think we're going to do that. Hmm. I mean, honestly, I just like to, I just like to piece out for these two things. We would not get a coalition. So yeah, this is definitely what we should do. I don't care about their Papal States freaking stuff, you know? I don't care about that at all. Why would I care? Can't even make it over there either. Papal State's gonna go and smash them for me. Okay, this one is good. I almost always go for this one. Uh, Cause it just has a whole bunch of benefits for relatively little uh, cost or investment, so I think it's fine. Um, you would go ahead and just peace out right now, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I want to. I mean, I honestly want to. Um, I do want to get like a little bit of a little bit more stuff from you, money wise. Also, we should start fabricating on you. Although, again, Francis Alley to you and you too, actually, for that matter. How much aggressive expansion are we gonna have after this war? That's a good question. We have zero right now. 33 max. We might have enough for a war immediately after on Ferrara or Milan, if we're smart about it. Uh, Milan? No. Uh, Ferrara or Florence. Okay. Hmm. We could actually, you know what we, you know what we should do? We should go and siege down Switzerland. Although, I don't know. Maybe it's not a good idea to be sitting in the mountains and stuff. But you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? In fact, I think their army is mostly dead anyway, so... Yeah, there's their army. They probably won't attack me. <laughs> but they might. And it would suck if they did. Oh, there's the... Hold on. But there's that army coming over here. Okay, they're just sieging down Genoa. That's fine by me. Okay, humanist ideas, of course. We got more stuff to do. I'll lose prestige, whatever. Truce with Castile has ended. Austria got elected again, and that's about it. Our truce with Aragon has ended. Hmm. Aragon, you shouldn't take that from uh, Castile. You should just, like, start being independent, you know? It's not even that big of a deal. Conquer Constantine, which is not Constantinople. It's Constantine over here. It's Berber. Yeah, I don't think so. 
don't think so. Something tells me that wouldn't be the best idea to attack Clemson. Maybe later game. Maybe effing later. Tolerance of Heretics is really going to help if we go Protestant, too. I'm glad I went Humanist, because while it may not even be the objective right decision, I never go with it, and it's so good to have, like, a lot more promoted cultures, and just be able to do stuff, like, easier, you know? It makes you much more flexible. I just, I like it a lot, you know? I don't go with it enough. Um, I think we want to go with... I think that... Adaptive combat terrain bonus thing is actually all right. It's not gr great, but uh, farmlands is fairly common up here and like down here. You know, there, there's a good chunk of like stuff that's farmlands. So uh, let's go ahead and peace out Switzerland, right? You feel me? Feel me, dog? War reps? Oh, are you kidding me? You won't even give me that. All right, well there you go. You're peaced out. And we have 100% war score now. We can take what we need to take. Utterly defeated. No coalition. Take that. I will also take back your... I can't take back guarantees. Well, we already... I guess if we're in only treaties, it might do that too. It just might not be saying it. Um. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and... Um, of course, core both of those. And then right now, we're going to go to war with Ferrara. Even if it turns out that it's a waste and we can't do anything, like, we, we have to jump on them while they don't have any friends, you know? Like, yeah, I would love to go to war with Florence, but they're allied to France, and, you know, someone tells me I'm not able to beat France at this point in time. So let's go over here. I'm sorry about this, dog, but it must be done. It must be done. Yeah, I was going to say, we shouldn't be able to go there. Pretty sure we can't. Uh, let's go ahead and raise war taxes. What are we getting so much money from? Probably war reparations, right? Spoils of war, war reparations. Yeah, we're doing alright, actually, on money right now. We have more loans to pay off, so that's good. You know, we need the money, honestly. Okay. Uh, military access. No, I don't really care about any of those missions right now. What is Austria up to, huh? War with Milan. Savoy or... Oh, they, did they get declared on Savoy? Milan, are you crazy? Are you flipping crazy? Are you flipping crazy? Okay, uh, we should pay off all of our debt if at all possible. Oh, hey, we did, okay. And we're still making good money. That's pretty, pretty sweet. I mean, this is of our culture group, so it should go fairly quickly. Catalonian separatists in the Beliers. I don't want to fight them. So, we're just going to do that. Well, they're, what state are they a part of? Valencia. Okay. I mean, I want to conquer all of Catalonia at some point in time, I do think. I don't know when we're going to be able to do that, but we will do it at some point, I guarantee you. We're going to unite all the Latin-speaking people. Even Romania. Hmm. Maybe. Let's go and smash them. Should be fairly easy. Yep. There you go. Manpower could be doing better, but it's not even terribly either. Um, speaking of manpower, we could just do like that, which we should definitely do anyways. Um, this is good. I think we want to do that actually. Um, beyond that, it is time to actually get. Ooh, that's ten influence. Yeah, like I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure that's just the right amount. And that should be just right amount, the right amount. I was going to say, I think that's going to be one too many uh, admirals. This one is not as good. So let's go ahead and fire this admiral. And there we go. We're good again. Conquer Corsica. There's that mission again. Yeah, but again, they're allied with Geno or with Austria. That's it. Tech time coming up soon. Colonialism could spawn right now, but it hasn't yet. I'm hoping it'll be in Castile, but in any case, it's probably not going to be great for us, you know. Um, we still have enough mil or like too many military points. What should we spend them on? 
We could take the tech ahead of time, but I don't really like that. I, I mean, actually, you know, we are losing man, or we're like, you know, we don't have a great amount of manpower anyways. So might as well do that. Hmm. Okay. So what does our aggressive expansion look like? It's actually not that bad. I think we might be able to vassalize Farrar and get away with it, which would be really good. Hmm. We just need to start consolidating, you know? That's exactly what we'll be doing here. Uh, Messina tells us of the Peasants' War. Nice. Good job. Okay, we captured some ships. Always good. Trade ships, it looks like. Um, and we're going to vassalize you. No coalition at all. I thought, I actually honestly thought it would be like one or two people available, but yeah, I was right when I said we aren't going to have any issues. So, Neapolitan vassal take, oh my god, take all of your money. Yeah, absolutely. And that's going to be it. I would like to revoke my claim, but I don't remember how to do that. Um, cool. Welcome to the, the party, mister. Again, we do have a little bit too much stuff now. Too many relations, that is. Um, I think we should break our alliance with the Poker Man. Hold on. I immediately regret this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. This may seem stupid. It's like, what are you doing? But I'm gonna re I'm gonna re up the alliance temporarily for a very specific reason that you will see momentarily. It's important, actually. No, don't sell ships. Send a gift. Need to. I need to ally you again. Okay. All right, and now, oh hey, they changed it so you can see when you're getting the next favor. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait till we get our last favor and then I'm gonna up our relations a little more. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I want to break their alliance with Austria, possibly. We're, well, we're not a great power, though, so I can't do that anyways. But we're close enough that it might happen, you know? It might happen soon. So that, that's basically what I'm saying. If we get the trust up, then it'll give us a good shot at being able to possibly do that. So I don't need you there anymore. Um, okay. Yeah, once, come January, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Incorporate Tripoli into our country. Remove Siena from the map. I mean, that could be a good one to do, but they're ally with the Pope and in Genoa's trade now. So probably not. I think we're going to do this one because we, I think it is actually about time to do this. They have one Sunni province left. I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, <laughs> we can't just yet. But once we can, we're going to go ahead and incorporate them. So that'll work. Hmm. Okay, um, we finished coring our stuff a while ago now. Huh, I think that, well, first off, we can do that now. That's all we need to do there. With Genoa, I would like to claim Genoa itself, and then probably Corsica. Um, it is almost time to tech up, but we actually have enough for this, so that's good. Tolerance of heretics is up. Years of Separatism is so good, but let's save up for the tech first. Just wait one second. We're going to have to do at least one more development military-wise. That's fine. Okay. Genoese peasants. I'm glad they're having issues. Makes it easier for me. Ferrara, do you have any cores or anything? No. You have a claim on Parma. Which is all right. We'll probably feed you that. Hmm. Okay. 
if we have to wait long enough, it might be good just to wait until we get, uh, the, oh, the, what was I gonna say? Uh, it might be a good idea to just wait till we get the, um, Diplo Annexation Reduction. That could be good. We'll see. We will see. Let's get you to, uh, I want you to, to do that with all those people. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and break up this uh, alliance with the Pope now. Sorry, Mr. Poperman. Um, it is also tech time, which we will take immediately because of the fact that the colonialism could spawn at any given time. I'm not sure why it hasn't already, honestly. Is that one still the same as Latin Knight, still the same longbow, it goes to Landschnecken. I normally go for the defensive ones. Disloyal states, I don't really care. Hmm. So now the question is... The question is, if we become a great power, will we be able to do what I want to do there? We will see, I suppose. Uh, we need to get back up above 25. Uh, power projection, that's the word. Mamluks, Castile, and Venice. So Venice, come over here, Venice. I want to, I want to freaking insult you. And there we go. And we're good. That should go away, right? Yep. There we go. Cyprus, Cyprus. When did you become Catholic? When did you become Catholic? That's weird. You started. You start Sunni with an Orthodox province, and somehow you became Catholic. I'm not gonna question it. Um, the knights, what, I mean, could we like ally you? It'd be kind of funny to try and get a, uh, a personal union over the, over Cyprus, you know? That could be fun. We could probably do it too, but, hmm, <clears throat> not gonna worry about it. Not going to war about it, no darling, no I'm not. Hmm, <clears throat> hey Genoa, your trade league got disbanded? When did that happen and why? That's really good for me. I will probably declare war on you if Austria gets beat up enough, which they won't. So, no, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I can't speak today. Uh, Excommunicated ruler against Florence. I mean, that's really good for me. It's really good for me, as long as we can, you know, make France not <laughs> not defend them. A little, little harder than you, you know, than you might think. Well, you probably realize it's hard to do that. Huh. Well... We have Tunisian promoted. When is the next idea group? It's next tech. Again, I'm 99,000% sure that we want to go influence. Diplomatic is alright too. And trade would be alright too. But we don't really need trade. I think we're going to be fine for money, especially the later we go. Influence, on the other hand, is what we need like right now. For, for a couple reasons. One, uh, aggressive expansion impact. Two, um... Diplomatic relations, because we're going to be doing a lot of vassal stuff, especially in North Africa and in Italy, too. Diplomatic annexation cost for those vassals. Income from vassals is helpful, uh, and unjustified demands can be pretty good, too. It's just, like, it's really good. You got to do that in general, I think. So, um, that's going to be the next one. Fourth one, that's where you start to have a little bit of a debate. You're like, uh, I'm pretty sure we want to go either quality or offensive if we go military. But we could also, you know, you could also make an argument to go administrative um i think we, we don't want to do religious because we have humanist um ever expansion again no colonialism this game i'm going to self-impose that limit because i don't feel like colonizing innovative is the only other one that seems even like remotely worth it um and i don't think it's that great because we're in europe we don't necessarily need the institution embracement cost and technology cost as much as if we were in like asia so i think administrative Economic could be interesting to go as, um, but I, pff, administrative is so good, and it does stack with the bonuses, like you guys said. So, so I think fourth idea group. Uh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, um, fourth idea group, either administrative or quality and offensive. I think we'll probably go the military route because we're going to be ahead by that point. We're already freaking ahead, you know. Uh, definitely want to do the years of separatism. Oh my god, Papal State, what happened to you, buddy? Hold on, 
Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the front door. Yeah, get rid of you. Are you loyal? You are. Marry me, please. Hey, look at that. National unrest and yearly corruption down. It's pretty good, actually. What that means is we could... Yeah, we're not... Well, we're already not spending. Good. It prioritizes what it should. Uh... Gain ducats. That does seem all right. Let's do it. We'll probably have to, uh... Yeah, I was gonna say... Oh, gosh darn it. Two of them? Really? Two of them? Really? Nobility... That'll bring their loyalty down to minus realm levels. <laughs> um, so try to give them that one first, and then that one. There we go. They're not going to be too happy. Neither are they, huh? That still brings them over? Are you kidding me? Wow, they're all going to be disloyal for quite some time, it does seem. Let's go ahead and build some buildings real quick, and then that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we definitely want to do that in Napoli. Um... Beyond that, Tunis could be good actually as well, but let's not worry about it right now. Uh, these will be good as well, but taxation. We haven't had enough time to even really build any of these yet, so let's go ahead and do it. Um, get some of these things built up. Oh, hey, definitely do the thing that I was saying we should do in Abruzzi. That's going to be a good location for the mountains there. Um, the local manpower. Let's do that in Salerno and Salento. I think that's good. Production. Oh, and this is good to do it because we have the bonuses from our rulers, or the uh, discounts from our rulers. Uh, state maintenance is good. It will pay itself off eventually, but I don't think it's amazing, you know? We don't need to do it right now. Um, hmm, shipyards, I think, might be the next thing we do, but... I mean, we're going to build them all around the boot, but that's fine. For now, it's good. Hey, Provence, you got a province back. <laughs> you know? That's pretty good. Okay, well, they're looking pretty good down there. How are you doing with the whole Liberty Desire thing? Why are you just... Why are you so uppity? Yeah, I knew that was coming. I'll pay off your debt. Did that help? I couldn't tell. I think it did. Um, wish there were more things we could do to keep them, keep them honest with us. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay, the Protestant Reformation has begun in where? Let's see, where did it start? I just saw, but up in Mecklenburg or something, right? Pomerania. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, again, I did say if we're not at war and we're able to get a Reformation Center, we're absolutely gonna do it. Um, because it mixes things up a little bit. I I think this is what we're gonna do. Um. And we're going humanist, so that's going to help with that. It doesn't. It shouldn't really matter in the long term if we conquer people who are Catholic still, you know. Uh, also, it allows us to conquer Rome with no penalty early on, which I would like to do just to secure that. Because the people say letting them live can be quite annoying, honestly. So we're going to definitely do this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to flip to Protestant. Okay, we have done it. It has been done. It popped up right there in Salerno. It's going to be interesting to see if it converts to Sunni land or what, you know, what all is going to happen. Uh, but in any case, we've done it. So, you know, be aware of that. Hmm. It's going to make people hate us, certain people. Austria hopefully will love us still. As long as Poland loves us still and Austria, we should be okay. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. And uh, come back next episode when we continue on. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.